Hey YouTube, this is Sugar PYT, also known as Have a Kiki with Nikki. And I'm just checking in. This is going to be my third check-in today um, with you guys. And I have just pulled up home. Of course, I got off work um, some a little while ago. And I just pulled up home and I just wanted to make a video before I take it on upstairs and lay it on down. Shower and, you know, lay it on down and get ready to do it again tomorrow, okay? Thursday, which is my Friday, all right? Um, but yeah, so guys, on the way home, I was watching watching um rick reed's most recent live and basically for the um first half of his video that he has recently done um he spends a lot of time talking about um sean and miss d ramsey and stuff like that and it's just like i just wanted to come to you guys and say that i think that live is just like really really some fucking bullshit because first of all um, he's telling people that he was not checking for Sean, but yet and still, we know that he sent Sean an email, okay, T it's showing his appreciation for Sean, which is probably the only reason why Sean even dropped down in that chat anyway. You know what I'm saying? Because he had received an email, a kind email. There was some correspondence. Okay, you guys let me know if I'm wrong. This is just my perspective. This is, you know, I just want to talk about it because I found that live to be very interesting. Um, interestingly untrue. Okay. <laughs> for lack of better words um and then on, on top of that you know he's going out of his way to call people whores and stuff like that but we just seen him go to dinner you know what i'm saying with someone who is married and sending out pain pics and also traveling to other locations on other people's dime and messing around but he's saying he doesn't hang out with whores okay so maybe he hangs out with sluts i don't know maybe there's a difference okay um I just thought that was very, very interesting that he, you know, has so much smoke for Sean when really Sean hasn't even done anything to him. And then, you know, the things that he had to say about, uh, you know, the people that subscribe, the, the ladies that subscribe to Sean Bradley, you know, saying that, you know, because I'm a subscriber as well. You know what I'm saying? As well as I like to put up videos sometimes. I like to vlog. What's the problem with that? So I'm a subscriber to, you know, all of you out there. I subscribe to everybody. I don't have a problem with nobody. Um, but to say that the women that subscribe to Sean Bradley are easy, easily manipulated because, you know, they're just used to being abused by being in abusive relationships. Um, that's some fucking bullshit. I am one woman on this planet. I ain't never had no man whoop my ass. Okay. Um, all glory be to God. I've never, I've never encountered that in my life. I've never been in a situation where someone had been trying to abuse me and I sat around and dealt with those shenanigans. Okay. I just, I'm a blessed person. Not saying that, you know, it can't happen, but thus far, you know what I'm saying? With it being that I've been on this planet for 40 years, that has not been something that has been that has occurred in my life or that has been recurring in my life okay so i just don't know what he's talking about and then saying that he's a user and he doesn't do um things for people you know what i'm saying and he seems to be really 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 checking for sean's finances okay i find this to be extremely interesting because i remember some videos back that he did where he was saying that he made more money than sean which is interesting because sean does not live in a trailer OK, so I just don't see how you could come for someone's pocket if you are. I don't give a damn if you own the trailer. You know what I'm saying? Um, if you own the trailer, if you flip trailers, I, I just don't see how it correlates how that you know what i'm saying you have homeowners you have people that you know own trailers or rent trailers that's a different financial bracket is all i'm saying so i just don't i don't see i mean i ain't got no problem with rick but i just don't i don't understand rick i mean i'm not hating you know what i'm saying this is just my my commentary my perspective on the situation and it's like when you really really have money like that you're not checking for somebody else's coin it just doesn't happen. I mean, I am not a millionaire, not by any means. I've been blessed to be in the company of people who make millions and millions upon millions of dollars per day. And, you know, they just carry themselves differently. You know what I'm saying? Um, and 
talking about someone else's coin when you're not doing business with them is not something that I see happen too often with people who are honestly making real money out here okay so that was interesting i mean and to say that he i think that before you certain content creators if you haven't been around for a while and when i say a, a while i mean at least three or four years if you haven't been rocking with a person for a while or if you haven't really been watching them you shouldn't make certain statements because it, it's going to come across like you're lying you know what i'm saying sort of like you're ignorant ignorant to be ignorant is to have no knowledge of so it's like you're ignorant of that person and you know the lifestyle that they lead because you haven't been watching and then you jump out and you make certain comments I, I just don't understand it so maybe you know guys it's all a ruse maybe this is just all a plot to get clicks and views but I would have I mean rather than doing that I would have just you know I like his story times now his story times are interesting but you know saying all this fuck shit is just really I don't know it just doesn't come off as credible to me okay some people might not like it I apologize in advance if you don't like it okay um but it just it just and then you know what I'm saying saying that you know Miss D Ramsey is a witch because you know she burnt the shirt no I didn't interpret it as that maybe because I do go to church on a regular basis so I'm familiar with people speaking tongues now I won't get too far into anointing because I feel like that's not my scope in my area of expertise however as you know Hey, it, there's some people, I have different titles out here in the church world, okay? So I'm not just a person who goes to church. I'm a person who, you know, has been, uh, people have wanted me to do administrative duties and to do things at church. So I'm not just a person who simply just goes every Sunday. I've been in the choir. I participate when I'm into it, it you know, and I'm doing something, I participate avidly. So as far as me speaking on her anointing and stuff like that, I, I won't do that. Um, do I think that, you know, she's some sort of witch, man? Heck no. Based on, you know what I'm saying, what I've seen of her, she's always talking about the Lord. You know what I'm saying? Always uh, uh, praising the Lord as we all should do. You should always, it says that in the Bible, you have to keep the Lord's name in your mouth. Um, we can't tell each other how to express each other. So I just think that's an interesting turn that everyone started calling her a witch and probably people who don't even go to church on a regular basis, who don't even pray on a regular basis, probably those type of people that are just so willing to throw around those types of titles um, or, or not even titles. Well, I mean, I guess that is a title because you're calling somebody witch you don't even personally know them you don't you probably don't even have any information about um about religion you know what i'm saying of course i won't speak on someone's personal relationship with the lord because we all have our own personal relationship it's none of my business but i just thought that that was really interesting i guess what i want to leave you guys with or you know just say is that some content creators like before you start speaking on other content creators get to know the person you might have to you know what i'm saying if there's something that you really really want to do you might have to go back and watch a few lives so you can find out about the person because literally everything that sean does not just says everything that he does is cements what type of person that he is and he does good out here so I, i'm sorry i just I don't know. I just can't sit. I know, you know, people, Sean said, don't win me. I'm not windmilling, boo, but I just gotta, I got to say something because that shit is some fuck shit. Okay. Um, to try to sit back and act like you wasn't, you wasn't up there caking when you sent the initial email. We ain't going for it. We ain't going for it. Try again. Okay. I'll let y'all lighter. Like, share, and subscribe, and everyone have a blessed night. Stay blessed.